Hey everyone, I'm Johnny and today we're taking a look at a G-Steel G-Shock. This is a great value, durable, attractive and very large watch. You should be able to pick one up between 220 and 300 American dollars. But let's zoom in and take a closer look. Let's start by taking a quick look at the box. This is the sort of standard tin most G-Shocks come in. I quite like it, especially if you have a solar G-Shock. I usually just store them on display like so. Also comes with your paperwork as well, for warranty and everything you need to know about the various functions. Like most G-Shocks of course, you can get this in a number of different versions. I particularly would like to have a closer look at this bronze version, it's very attractive. This particular G-Shock I have here is the steel and plastic version, which is about $50 cheaper than the solid steel version of this watch. I do generally prefer the monochromatic solid look, but I don't mind this two-tone look either. This actual layering of steel and plastic, it does help with the shock resistance. Plastic and resin, of course, isn't as strong as steel, but it is actually more shock resistant. Of course, with a G-Shock, you shouldn't be too stressed about damage either way, because they make a very tough watch for the price. The watch has all the functions and more you'd expect from a G-Shock. I won't go over all of them, but you have 31 time zones, 5 alarms, perpetual calendar, stopwatch to 2 decimal points. The solar is also extremely impressive and will last 8 months with regular use, or 19 months if in storage. At 59mm, it's really a gigantic watch, and that works because it's a G-Shock, not something you're probably going to wear with a suit. Let me just show you how big this watch is next to my already large Seiko Samurai. I have just under an 8 inch wrist and this is about as big of a watch as I will wear so that's something to keep in mind. If you have a smaller wrist this is going to look massive. The size does certainly lend itself to legibility, particularly in the dark. You're going to have no issue using buttons and features with the size of the buttons on scale with the watch. You should be able to use these functions while wearing gloves, so again, a good work watch. Let me just show you how clear and easy it is to read this large watch face in the dark with the light function. You can see the light coming from the 6 o'clock position, reflecting off the stainless hour markers. Would be no issue seeing this in the dark. Hands are also nicely loomed as well, so you won't always need the light function anyway. Look at the case back, 200 meters water resistant, or 660 feet, so you can dive with it, but there is no dive extension on the bracelet. Bracelet is 20 millimeters, double clasp, room for micro adjustments, glass is mineral crystal, with a very deep recess, so I'd say it's well protected there. If you're looking for a large work watch, that's 59 millimeters by the way, and 16 millimeters thick, this is a great option. Also a good watch to travel with, as I don't always like to travel with an overly expensive watch. So overall this gets a great recommendation from me. G-Shock consistently prices their watches very competitively for their durability and function, and this is no exception, so good job G-Shock on this one. If you enjoyed this quick review, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.